Hello viewers, hello listeners, hello everyone. Thank you once again for joining me. Please don't forget to subscribe if you are coming for the first time. If you are regular, just do the usual. Please like and comment and also share our video so that others may just see what we do here. Because what we do, we give, we give you current affairs in real time. So yes, yesterday, Postal 14 started across the length and breadth of the country. And this specific brave police officer that I have here actually voted for Nelson Chamisa and even went to the extent of taking a photo and publishing the photo. I must say, ladies and gentlemen, in all, in everything that is being said on total of, on post of your voting, this is the ballot paper that is being used. It is the ballot paper that got people speaking even about the design. No one knew the design and this one, this specific one, is where people actually saw how the ballot paper will be looking like and also for this police officer who leaked his photo or a photo i don't know whether it's a he or she he actually voted also for the councillor in the local authority elections for triple c and also in the parliamentary elections he voted for triple c as well so we can actually trace and see where, which constituency is this by just probably checking the MPs, checking the local councillors, and we see Vagona, Ma 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 Polisa could defy Ma orders Emma Boswell. Yes, there were reports of inter intimidation in this process yesterday. So to see such a police officer who actually voted for Nelson Chamisa is actually a uh, motivational on the part of the Triple C and all its members and supporters. Yes, we saw reports worrying reports of voter intimidation on the process is really that there were no agents or observers to monitor the police to, to monitor the, the process uh, father Mahere actually posted that a late police officer reports that, that they are being forced to vote under the watch of their bosses as we speak. There are no agents or observers allowed to monitor the process. They report that they are being forced to vote for ZANU-PF. So this is what was posted by Fazai Mahere and it came as worrying, especially to the Triple C, that there is voting ongoing and people are voting under the watch of their bosses and there are no agents or observers to monitor the process i remember a certain leak that was happened that happened at Z zp cs it must by it must be by shepherd judah or so i think it was in 2008 where he was planted with the camera and he went into the office and we actually saw this happening live on camera the bosses were actually telling them to vote for robert mugabe and timber uh, I mean, Shepard Judah also confessed that that was the only time in his life that he voted for Robert Mugabe in Zanupiev because it was under the watch of his boss. But at least he had a security. The media house that he used, he had guaranteed him the security of him and also he, his family. Soon after that incident they had to flee zimbabwe and flee to the united kingdom so there were reports that were very worrying on this and you zimbabwe trust actually commented saying we are concerned by reports that postal voting is clandestinely ongoing across the country in violation of section 155 of the constitution and the electoral act transparency fairness and the exercise of free we will must underline our elections for them to be credible. So he was Zimbabwe Trust is also an observer in this election. But right now they were posting that they are worried about the ongoing postal voting, which was not monitored to say the least, which was not being observed. So it is also worrying. Then Mr. Makurawura also posted saying that there is a lot of intimidation at the postal voting center in Mashingo. The officers are given their envelopes, written their names on top of it for the council to presidential candidates. So this is also worrying, if not sickening, how if a certain voter is given his envelope marked by the name 
this only means that they will they are threatening you to say we will identify you and tell you whom we have voted for so it is also a clear rigging tactic to say that those who are given envelopes with their names written it will know whom we have voted for so a lot of these people might actually vote otherwise but at least the triple c is found refuge in this one who leaked his paper his cup is uh, his ballot papers to say that at least some are actually voting for the triple c against or, or so they also need to make sure that such uh, ballot papers are circulated and circulated widely for the rural ele electorate and also for those parts of the country that are being uh, intimidated as well, that are being threatened against voting, uh, against voting for the triple C as well. They must do uh, do so much in making sure that these ballot papers reach across the length and breadth of the country.